Hey, what's up? I've been working on a project this weekend I want to share with you guys because it might help you out if you're in the same situation and want to run things off grid. So uh, last weekend we lost power for three days and I have a battery backup system here that I made and with an inverter. It's a 3000 watt inverter. It says 6000 watt peak. We needed to run our swamp cooler and it would not start the swamp cooler. The inverter kept tripping and it should have enough power because it says 6000 watt peak so it's probably wrong it's a cheap model i paid 300 bucks for it so i had two choices either convert my swamp cooler from ac to dc or buy a 500 dollars or more inverter to handle it for a swamp cooler i did a watt uh, meter test and the swamp cooler on ac runs about 500 watts which is about as much as my freezer inside the house so i was surprised so I decided to convert from AC to DC, not only save power, save money, that thing was still costing electricity, now I can run it off grid with my solar panels, it's 130 watts to run versus 500. So I didn't video it, um, I had to exchange parts uh, a lot and uh, figure out what worked, what didn't, and I've got a system that works so I will share with you the parts and uh, my setup, so check it out. So the first thing you'll need to do is convert your pump to DC. So this is a bilge pump that boats use. See, I had to get a hose adapter right here. This is a uh, 760 GPH pump. I got the lowest one I could find on Amazon. Got a hose connector with a coupler using the original tubing, which goes up there, which runs to the sides to drop the water. All right, so that's my setup. That's all you have to do for inside the cooler. Now inside the house, you have to use radiator fans. So you can go with one. I decided to go with two eight inch round uh, car radiator fans. Fit perfectly in here. And then I did my wiring. I got a speed control here so I can adjust the speed of the fans. And then this also has a forward and reverse. So I can actually draw air out if I needed to. And then I have an on off switch for the pump. And then I ran a power bus right there. So I have my positive and negative feed so then I can connect multiple items to this. So if I want to run a cigarette lighter adapter here I could do that 12 volt directly off the battery bank. This does not go through an inverter. It uh, is connected to my auxiliary out in my solar charge controller which goes to the batteries. All right, let me show you how it works. I'll start with the pump. Let me turn this on. It's only taking about 36 watts to run that pump off the of solar. It's the same as the uh, other pump, only it's 12 volt DC. All right, and I'll show you the fans right now. Sorry, this thing is pretty light. I shouldn't have got one with the light on it. So I have a speed regulator here so I can turn the fans up and down. It goes pretty fast and pretty strong. So it blows just as much air as it did before. So I'm happy with that. I did not lose any, uh, I would say, airflow by converting it to DC. These are car radiator fans and they have different sizes. These are eight inches each, that way I can fit two in there. All right, so now with both of these going, with the pump going, I'm gonna show you how many amps and watts it's using. So I've hooked up to my load right here on my solar charger. And this tells me my load right now is 9.6 amps. So about 10 amps, round up, and it's at 12.5 volts. So let's say 10 times 12 volts, 120 watts. It's only using 120 watts, it was using 500 watts before. That's a big difference, and it could be run completely off-grid on my battery bank 24-7. So it's working out great. Um, I like it. Project nearly complete. The only thing I'm going to do now is create a
panel for this to hold my controls and then a, a fan cover right here. Make it look nice. So the higher up you go, the louder it's going to be. Let's see what it's, this is all the way up. So it's coming out strong. And I can turn it off. If you guys want to do the same thing, I will list the parts for you that I got and the cost. I think it's about 100 bucks to convert it, and that's including the the pump, the fans, the the switches, and the wiring. All right, that's not bad. That's it for now. Hope it helps you guys out.